do you want to create a contact form for your WordPress website? Let me show you the easiest way to do just that. Okay, I assume you can find your way to your WordPress dashboard right here. We will be using a free plugin called Forminator to create our contact form. There are other plugins you can use like the Contact Form 7 and others. But I find Forminator the world easiest plugin to create contact forms with. Not just contact forms though, but several other amazing stuff that are core to your website. So you might consider subscribing to this channel so you don't miss out on anything WordPress that I publish almost every day. To create our contact form, we'll be going through three quick easy steps. Number one is to install and activate Forminator plugin. Number two is to create our contact form. Number three is to add our form to the desired page of our website. And number four is to test our page to be sure it's working perfectly. So let's dive right into step one. Install and activate Forminator. Go to plugin in your WordPress menu. Click add new. In the plugin search bar, type Forminator and wait. Now you can see Forminator here with over 300,000 active installations and 5 star ratings. So click the install now. Wait for installation to be complete. Click activate. Okay, now Forminator has been activated on our website, so let's go to step 2. To create our contact form, go through the WordPress menu bar and you will see a new Forminator tab. If you hover on the link, you will see several features that you can do with the free Forminator plugin. But in this tutorial, we want to create a contact form. For other awesome features of Forminator, you can subscribe to this channel. Click on the form link. Click create. You can also use the create button above. As you can see, you have options of forms that you can create here. And you can also create from scratch using the blank form. Let's quickly assume that we want to create a contact us form here. So we will use the pre-made contact us template that Forminator has already provided. So click the contact us, click continue, give your form a name. I will call mine contact us. Use any name that you want. Note that you can always edit this data at a later time. Click create. Now you can see the fields that have been pre-made for us. Let's go ahead and edit them to suit our purpose. On the first name, I will change it to name because I want my web visitors to have an easy ride filling out my form. To do so, come to the settings icon and click. Click edit field. You can choose between single or multiple. But I will choose single in this tutorial. I will delete the first. On the placeholder, if you leave it as it is, it will give the form filler an example of what you want them to fill in. Just like this. 
if you delete it, it will not display. So I will leave it as it is. I don't think I need any description here, so I will leave it blank. Before I apply my changes, let's quickly check up on these options. Settings. If you leave it as optional, it means that the form filler can skip filling in their names, yet the form will submit successfully. But if left as required, the form will not be able to submit until after the field is filled. Since I will need the name of my form filler, I will leave my option as required and it will highlight as blue as you can see. Styling and visibility are a bit more advanced, so I won't talk about them in this video and sincerely they are not so important. But if you want me to talk about them in a later video, then you can leave me a comment in the comment section. Back to labels and now I can click the apply button. As you can see, the red asterisk shows that the field is a required field and it must be filled before it can be submitted successfully. Email address is another important one, so I will allow it in my contact form. But let's say I don't want emails, then I will delete this field. To do so, click the settings icon beside the field you want to delete and click the delete button. But I don't want to delete this field, so I will click the edit field option instead. I will leave everything the way they are. Apply. Let's quickly do the same to phone number. The only thing to mention here is that if you are targeting a particular country, then you can edit the phone code. If not, everything remains the same. But for the sake of this tutorial, I will go to settings and make the phone number optional. As you can see, there is no red asterisk here, telling you that it is an optional field. For message, everything remains the same. But what if there is a field that I want to add that is absent in the pre-made form? Let me just use a radio button as an example here. So to do so, click the insert field either here or up above. I will click radio here. As you can see, you have tons of options at your disposal. Click insert field. I will quickly edit my radio button. You can choose any of the two options. And if I want to add more options, I can also do that here. This is how to add more field to your form. So now I am ready to apply, so I will click apply. I 
I think I am satisfied with my form, so I will preview it to see how it will appear on my website. To do so, click the preview button here. Hmm, this looks very simple and cool. So I am ready to publish my new form. Cancel, publish. Cool. Congrats, your contact form has been published successfully. So let's move to step three. Add your form to the desired page on your website. As you can see, your form link is displayed as a short code. All you need to do is to click the copy to clipboard icon here and your code is copied. Close. If you already have a WordPress page, just go to the page and paste your contact form short code in the preferred section. But here, I will create a new page for my contact us form. So I come to pages, add new, I will name my page contact us, if you are using the default WordPress editor, just click the plus icon here. Search for HTML and click. Then paste the short code you copied in Formulator here. Click publish, publish again, view page, this is nice and easy, isn't it? So let's quickly go to step four. Testing if our contact form is working. So what I would do here is to copy the page link here. Open an incognito window. Paste your link and check it up. Fill in a rough detail. Okay, so you can see that this tells us that the form is successfully submitted. But we are not 100% sure yet. So let's check if this form is successfully submitted on our website. Look for Formulator. Now go to Submission tab and click. Come to the drop down here. If you have more than one published forms, it will display all of them here. 
but we have only one single form here so you click on it click show submissions Voila, as you can see, our form was successfully submitted. To see all the submitted details, click the drop down arrow. As you can see, all the details that we filled earlier on has appeared here. So, it's that easy. if you want to still edit this form maybe at a later time all you have to do is to come to forms remember as you create more forms their names will appear here so go to the edit here Then go ahead and edit your form. Updates. Okay. If you no longer need this form, what do you do? Just click on publish. And if you want to delete this form completely and permanently, just come over here. Click settings icon. Delete. This is how easy it is to create any kind of form for your WordPress website. Please, if this video was valuable, just encourage this channel by clicking the like button so that it can be suggested to other people who need tips like this. And if you want more tips like this, then subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you can get notified when I release my next video. Thank you and see you in my next video.